once we've downloaded it, we can start working with it. Notice it comes as a compressed zip file. We can double click back the zip file, at least on the Mac. Decompress it, and we get the squeak all in one, which is a one click program that runs the squeak. Start it up, and you'll notice we get a welcome window, which we don't need to worry about right now. We'll just close it out. Now, this blank area here with no windows, buttons, or anything showing is called the squeak desktop. If we click on the left mouse button and hold it down, we get a menu. This is called the world menu. The world menu has many, many choices. We are going to open up the most used choice of all, the workspace. The workspace just gives you a way of typing in sample code. We'll start out with one plus one. Now if we place the cursor next to the code and click right click inside a window, we get a menu including the term do it. Do it actually executes the code. But since there's no destination for the code, it does it quietly with often no visual results. So instead, we're going to print it. And that prints the code next to the result next to the code. Well, you can see how that will be cluttered. So let's actually open our second most used window. That's the third most. Second most is transcript. Move that down a little bit. And now the transcript window is a destination for many things. Often it's invoked simply by typing transcript show and then a do it, which shows you a two. And this is the end of the second lesson.